Hey everybody, this is Andrew. Welcome to another career mode video in my Kerbal Space program. I hope you guys can hear me okay. A little bit of background noise today as the bread maker decides if it wants to make a loaf of bread or not. Um, we shall find out in a few hours if it actually will comply with my request to make bread. But anyway, let's take a look at our career mode now. Um, we had a pretty successful first video, first couple missions. We have probably around 90 science, 83 science. So that's pretty good. Now we kind of have to decide what we want to do next. And I'm still sort of debating because we could do a couple different things. We could go, probably try to go for a surface sample of the poles, get some science as we go up um, that direction. Um, north or south or we could just say forget about that and then and try to go for a moon or minmus encounter maybe not landing quite yet I'm not really sure if I can pull that off but we might be able to pull it off I just wish I had batteries and all that good stuff to be able to do it um, so hmm it'd be nice to get a little bit of a better engine what do I have here I have the 30 here um, and then this one is a little bit better and has vectoring um, so that might be the way to go we can and then we would also have the solid fuel boosters which we could get a lot further with that and that costs 20 science so and this one costs 15 so we could probably we could don't think we really need this yet. Um, without fuel lines, the radial decoupler is a little bit less desirable for me personally. So let's. But I know as soon as I open up one of these two, I'm gonna want something else that they branch out into. So let's let's go with that because that's probably the most desirable one. Let's take a look at what else. What other options we just opened up? Oh, it would be so nice to get struts, and we'd get radial decouplers. We wouldn't get landing legs, but we don't really need landing legs that badly. I mean, we could probably land on... <sighs> could we? No, we probably can't. Let's see. We actually have enough... Do we have enough for both? I'm really bad at mental math, so I'm not sure. 45, 63 minus 45 is... Mmm... I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it's a little embarrassing, but I can't do that math in my head. I'm really just not good math-wise. So, um, let's go for this. Let's see how much... Okay, so yes, I thought it would be enough. I was right. Um, my brain just wasn't brain braining correctly. So, if that's the case, we could either save this last 40 gate or go for one of these I mean having struts is just always helpful so let's go let's do that and I think we probably have enough to go land on uh, let's try for minmus first because that seems a little bit easier I mean I know it's easier because I've we've been through this before so oops, we're gonna need one of these there we're gonna need Um, we'll take one of these. Not on the door, though. Let's put it right there. Now we can actually grab some goo. So that's good. I'll make sure the goo is not covering doors. Doesn't look like it's covering the doors there, does it? Well, let's just see. We will do... Let's put that... I don't need one of those. So let's put that here. And let's actually maybe we want to just put them down like that so we know they're not covering the doors. Doesn't look even, but we don't really care about that, do we? Yeah, that'll be fine. That looks nice and ugly. Um we'll be alright though, probably. So now we'll need some 
landing legs, probably, let's do four of them. Um, let's take, yeah, we don't even have room for parachutes like that, so we're not going to take those. One should still be enough for all the goo and everything else. Let's make sure these are down far enough. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's our... Um, going to be our transfer and landing and return stage, probably. Um, probably all three by the time we actually get there. So, let's go out like this. Let's do something a little bit different. Let's do... Let's just overkill it like we always do. And then we can use these. Um, I'm tempted to try to do the whole double, um, double, um, capsule again because it works really nicely and we have a little bit more torque to work with. And since we do have the radial parachutes, it's not so much of a risk. I'll need really two, though. Let's do two. No, we're covering the door again. It doesn't really look like it's covering the door. Well, we'll test it on the pad, and if it's covering, if it's covering up the door, we'll fix it before we go anywhere. Okay, so now we have that. I think we can pretty safely attach a couple of these. Hmm. Maybe we should just go straight for the solid boosters, actually. Yeah, that's more fun anyway. Um. So actually, we can make it even more fun. But first, let's just put on some emergency retro rockets here. Maybe not quite there. Hmm. I do want to have some kind of contingency plan in case this isn't quite enough um, to get back from Minmus. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, once again, we're going to have to find out if we're covering the door, but let's not worry about that right now. And let's do... Hmm... Okay, and like so. And then we'll do... Good thing we have struts, because this is going to totally work, because we have struts. If we didn't have struts... Whoa, that's a little high. Uh, why doesn't that want to be even? It doesn't really matter that much. But it's nice to make it look good. And strut. Let's do to there. Let's do from there. I don't know, to there. Yeah, that's good. And let's do from there to there. That should be plenty. I don't think these guys are going to need struts, but let's just do it anyway. Okay. That should be plenty. So let's see, where can we put these now? Like that. It's kind of ugly, but... Mm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Whatever works, works. Okay, so we're going to decouple... Hopefully... All of... All the out exterior ones, those, those, and those. Those can go there. 
three, three, and three, yup. And then these three, and then those can fire. We'll get rid of that, we'll do that, and we'll call this, this will be the emergency uh, escape stage there. And let's put the decoupler before that, so we'll call this, let's see, Minmus Explorer 1, Mark 1. I don't know how this is going to do exactly, but well, let's find out, you know. It's a little bit more exciting than just trying to go to the North Pole and doing all that sort of stuff. So, we shall give it a shot and see what happens. We're looking a little wobbly already, I'm not sure I'm liking that. But, let's give it a go. Alright, and we're off, and we're tilting. So that's excellent. And we can't really stop ourselves from tilting, it looks like. Okay, just keep spinning and trying not to tilt over too far in any one direction. I wish I could not spin, that would be lovely. Um, okay, no, stop it. Uh-oh. 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 Go away! Yes, now we have a little bit more control. Let's see, where's our 90 degree marker? Is there? Almost ready to start pointing that way. Oh, we might as well start now. Okay. Alright. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think we have enough fuel, really. But, let's see. Okay. Hmm, this is going to be a little bit close. I don't think we're going to get all the way where we want to go, but we might have enough to do some other kind of journey. And I don't think I remember to put a second guy in there either, so that's, that sucks. Um, that, that's okay. Oh, we can observe the goo. And we'll just keep that. How much was it? Seven. Okay. Well, we'll keep it for right now, but we might choose to get rid of that at some point. Sweet. Okay, we made orbit. Oh, right. Okay, that's perfect. How much fuel do we have left? Well... Mmm... Let's see where Minmus is at. We could have planned it, probably, so... just want to go for the pole here, because I don't think we had such great luck. I don't think our design was sufficient. Um, let's see. think fast about this. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much know what to do. I'm gonna burn... Um, on the... I don't know if we're gonna have enough. I'm gonna burn at zero degrees. And... Oh, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Um, so, okay, I think next time we need to get something a little bit bigger together. A little bit more uh, comprehensive rocket design is needed. <sighs> okay, let's just give it another couple seconds to get there and... Oh, I should really have SAS off since I don't really need it. 
suppose I should be going up a little bit too, so I should be like there. Maybe even like there. bouncing all over the place here. Okay, so we got rid of that stage. Yeah, we definitely weren't going to have enough. And I might as well use some of the power since we're probably not going to have anything to transmit. I don't know, maybe this would have made it somewhere. I do have quite a bit of fuel, but Meh. We'll tweak a little bit and then we'll try again. If I can just get this guy... Um, nope, that's not where I want to be. Here, let's... Make sure we are good and over. Okay. That's good. That's a lot of meters per second delta V. Um, but that's okay. We should be able to do it. So we will wait. We'll see. Okay. Let's just time accelerate a little bit. And stop and go. see how close we can get anyway and maybe we can use our uh, emergency boosters to get us the rest of the way does take quite a bit of thrust to get up to the pole. Getting close though. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, I'm gonna overshoot, so let's Keep going. Keep going. We're so close. We're almost there. Oh, okay, we're out of fuel. However, we do. Yeah, I don't see any reason to hold on to any of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay, well, let's just blow those. Oh, we're so close. We can basically walk there from here. Maybe if we're lucky, we will be able to deploy, deploy our parachutes over the proper place. Let's get rid of all this. Mm, okay, so we didn't have quite enough, but... We shall see if we can perhaps uh, figure something out here. So, really all that's left to do is to deploy the chutes, but we'll just time accelerate and... and... wait till we're over what looks like ice. Let's see, what does it look like here? Not quite. Okay. Mm, 
you can go there. We're gonna open up. Okay. Let's deploy all the shoots. Could observe the goo. Let's first turn off SAS. We don't need that. Okay. Are we going to stop in time? This remains unclear. We may be able to stop ourselves in time. Come on. I want to come down on the snow. Oh, we might do it. We might just pull it off. Yes. Excellent. So we should be either in the tundra or taiga biome, something like that. So that's great. Very, very happy. Um, so can we observe the goo now? Yeah, it's not even worth transmitting that to science, I don't think. I think we'll get more. Uh, we can take a crew report, though. And take another. I don't know if we'll be able to take more crew reports when we're on the ground. I forget already, even from the other day, exactly how that works. So, it's no. I'm always afraid of a time acceleration with the parachutes open. That doesn't seem to ever go very well. Alright, parachutes fully deployed. And we are descending at a comfortable 7 meters per second. Very, very nice. This might take a minute. Alright, we'll, we'll dare to time accelerate a little bit in the interest of time. But I'm holding you responsible if something goes wrong, whoever you are. snowy down there. have touchdown. Excellent. So let's observe our goo. Uh, we observed the goo. That was kind of lame. Let's do a crew report. Yeah. Well, we get nothing for that? Um, Alright, well that's kind of lame. Okay, so let's do an EVA. Let's do an EVA report. Oh, it says I'm flying over the grasslands. That's not right. That's a little odd. Let's make sure we're on the ground here. Whee! Yes. It still says I'm over the grasslands. Alright, well, let's take a surface sample. Yep, it looks like dirt. Okay, I can assure you that is not dirt. Urgh. 
Oh, very annoying. Can we plant a flag? <laughs> Alright. I don't even care. Get up. <laughs> Get your pull yourself together. Um question is, are we going to be able to get back on here now? Maybe we, if we... I sure hope so. Otherwise we lose out on science. Let's see, sometimes if I... Come on. There we go. Oh no! Whoa! That was cool. I don't think I could do that twice. Alright, but we had... I saw the... Oh, come on. Perfect. Stop. Okay, grab. Get in. And let's recover. So, we got maybe like 15 science? Oh, okay, we got 37 science. I don't know why it says grasslands, though. Hmm. That's not cool. But alright, 37 science, I'll take it. Um, alright, so we will do a redesign, but first I'm going to take a quick little break and end this video here. Um, because I'm trying to keep these short and sweet so someone sane will actually watch them. If you are sane and you did watch them, or you're insane and you also watch them. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye.